morning. <clears throat> Good morning. I welcome um, all our panelists today to uh, this edition of Amrita Oval. Uh, my name is uh, Shauri. I'm Dr. Shauri Kutapa, and uh, I'll be playing the role of the moderator for uh, today's discussion. At Amrita Vishwavidya Pitham, we aspire to join hands with institutions, parents, and guardians to provide value based education and mold the character of the younger generation to a system of wholesome learning. Amrita's culture of education helps to inculcate in our students the right ethos to be rooted in the values of dharma, which is righteousness, karuna, which is compassion, and shraddha, which is mindfulness. We believe that Amrita Oval can demonstrate and aid in learning important skills that can be transferred to any aspect of our life thereby falling in line with the vision of Amrita Vishwavidya Pita, education, education for living. With the Amrita Oval, we hope to get experiences that conduct this. The Amrita Oval aims to help audiences and learners to see the power of deploying rational, reasoned arguments and compelling evidence in action. It sets an example of ways to elucidate our standpoint by utilizing rhetorical eloquence. Via Amrita Oval, we aim to demonstrate the skills of researching, organizing, and presenting information in a compelling fashion. Other areas which we hope that Amrita Oval will also assist to demonstrate to learners include providing an engaging and active learner-centered activity, learner-centric activity improving righteous, high order and critical thinking skills, enhancing the ability to structure and organize thoughts, enhancing the learner's analytical research and note-taking skills as well. Uh, before we begin, I thought I will uh, run us through a few guidelines and norms for today's debate. One, the motion for the debate has already been established. We are today debating on whether reality shows should be banned. Therefore, the motion statement is, should kids reality shows be banned? The sequence of the debate has already, has also been established. Ms. Um, <coughs> Lakshmi will be speaker number one, and she's speaking for the motion. Ms. Shubrata Singh will be speaker number two, and she'll be all speaking for. Mr. Abhishek Patrick will be speaker number three, and he'll be speaking against the motion. And Mr. Kevin Kandasamy will be speaker number four, and you'll be speaking against the motion. Uh, in this initial 10 minutes that I'm taking, I will continue with the balance of norms for today's debate. After each speaker will get two minutes in which they are to introduce themselves. You can share your achievements, you can share your passion, you can share things that you're connected with and what drives you. You can also briefly indicate why you have chosen to speak uh, for or against the motion. You are not expected to get into your uh, topic uh, or your uh, uh, speech yet. You can just share your you know, standpoint and that's it. Thereafter, I will introduce the next where each one of us will have our respective times to, uh, for our speeches. Timelines, timelines, uh, I will be uh, monitoring the timelines. Uh, the uh, amount of time for each session has already been shared. Speakers must have their content arranged so that they use up maximum of the time allotted. Uh, I will inform the speakers about 30 seconds before the time is to end, at which point speakers should then come to a coherent end but 
they must make sure that they include all of their relevant arguments in their speech at the end of the time i will request i as the moderator will request the speakers to stop it will be a hard stop uh, my role as the moderate moderator i will be i will be the presiding judge and the sole interpreter of the rules this morning uh, apart from my role as you know opening the debate and keeping an order and ensuring that timelines are adhered to i shall also give procedural guidance if needed at any point of time uh, points of information uh, after each at different intervals after each speech or after each speaker has shared their thoughts uh, there will be gaps breaks in which other speakers can share points of information points of information introduce relevant information or directly refute what the speaker has just said the speaker may accept or reject the points of information uh, you are invited to ensure that your points of information are no longer than 30 seconds for maximum impact other general rules no expression will be ex accepted which is offensive personal or defamatory in a, in in a form. uh i as a moderator may call to order any person using such expressions when worded as a proposition of policy the topic requires affirmative support while um the interpretation of this affirmative or negative is left to the order to the speakers today once your position is made no revision of position will be permitted during the debate next you assert must also prove in order to establish an assertive uh, line of speech the speaker must support it with enough evidence and logic to convince the opposition and facts must be accurate you are open to use visual materials powerpoints or any other form that you would wish to share in the questioning period the questioner may ask any fair clear question that has direct bearing on the debate the questioner may also use this period to build up any part of his or her own case or to tear down any part of the opposition's case and also to ascertain facts such as the opposition's position on a certain issue that can be used later in the debate the questioner must not make unreasonable comments or ask rhetorical questions the debate must base its discussions entirely on the material presented without regard for other material which may be present but is not submitted in the debate right. also a good idea for participants to have a pen and notepad uh, on the side in case you need it uh, i um, move into the first part of the debate where i invite all speakers to share their introduction i invite speaker 1 to share this our introduction please go ahead namaste and good morning to all my name is sita i'm mr bari this is for the last good bye I've been teaching for all these years, and now for the last 22 years, I have been working as a principal. And my board screens uh, and the recipient of um, national teachers award, and uh, I'm also the very smart ambassador. That is actually for introducing financial uh, education in my school and near uh, by school. And I have chosen uh, the topic actually for for and speaking for for because I feel that this reality shows um, help the children to showcase their hidden talents and uh, uh, 
they get a wider platform. And uh, I feel uh, the children, those who have been in this, they are restored with us. Nowadays, they are actually, we are seeing them doing well. Right? So, I am actually, uh, I have chosen to speak for Paul for this topic. And thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I invite speaker to, to uh, take the floor. Very good morning to all of you. I am Shubrita Singh, currently principal in Surajpur International School, Faridabad. I have uh, done post-graduation in psychology, specialization in clinical psychology and child development. I have completed my senior education from Banaras Hindu University, commonly known as BHU Varanasi. I like to give education to students to connect it with the natural things. I try to always give them guidance from the natural things what they can learn. So this is my passion to connect the students or connect the people or children with the things which are in front of them. What they have to learn with that and what they can do for that. Because bookish language is for everyone, students or any people can read that. But how to motivate them, that is the part they have to learn from nature. So I like it and I am going to participate for the theme that is if a real program of children is good for them or not. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, I invite speaker number three to uh, take the floor. Please unmute yourself. Please unmute yourself. Go ahead. Good morning, everyone. Am I audible to you? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Very good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Abhishek Patrick, Assistant Director from uh, Jesus and Mary Academy, Patna. My educational background is I did my BCom honors from St. Xavier's College, Calcutta. Then uh, did my Master's in Commerce from Patna University. And then completed my MBA from Price College, Bangalore. And after that, I completed one law from Patna University. And presently about to complete my PhD in Commerce. And my topic is the social media in building brand values for education institutions in India. And uh, I'm also associated with the Red Cross Society as a life member of India, Red Cross Society. And I'm also a life member of Young Men's Christian Association, which is an international organization. And also the board member for life, uh, board member for YMCA, that is Young Men's Christian Association in Bihar, have also held the position as vice president for the YMCA in Bihar, also associated with the Rotary International and also the board member of Rotary in Bihar and a lawyer in the Patna High Court. Very happy to be a part of this very useful discussion today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, I invite speaker number four to take the floor. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. My name is Kavin Kumar Kandasamy. I am the managing director of uh, Mangala Medicational Institutions. We run about seven institutions in Tamil Nadu. Uh, not one of our institution uh, has the same culture as the other because we target about uh, a varied spectrum of the financial ladder in the society. We have a school that is an alternative to government schooling. And we also have an alternative education school in Kotagiri. One of my schools has 27 sports coaches, 14 creative arts teachers for about 900 students. So I truly understand the demand and the need and the value in creating a cultural system that uh, propagates, you know, education for life. And it's not about marks alone. And this is where a lot of talent is, you know, exhibited to the world. And uh, we work with many different uh, spectrums to make sure that this talent is showcased to people who can harness it and who can, you know, develop further from there. But in my other life, I am, uh, you know, a founder of a startup, which just recently went to the World Economic Forum in Davos, 
we are one of the four companies that uh, were chosen by the government of India to represent India at uh, the World Economic Forum in Davos. And currently, I'm in Kuwait, uh, uh, pro- you know, promoting skills, uh, which my other company does about 30% of uh, government of Tamil Nadu's pipeline in terms of ensuring skills are delivered to those in need and upskilling them. Uh, having said that, uh, Forbes had rated me as one of the 40 educational evangelists to watch out for in 2020. And I work very, 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 very closely with a lot of media outlets on a regular basis, trying to ensure that India is, you know, uh, promoted in the right fashion on the global world. Um, having said this, we have a very strong, young and vibrant workforce and about, yeah, young and strong, vibrant workforce where 70% of them are women and most of them are not chosen by the grounds of Mars. So we are chosen, we, we choose by the ability to do something. So that gives you my personality and my understanding of why we do certain things. And I am choosing to go against, you know, uh, reality shows and see how we can discuss healthily about. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you so much. Um, just uh, one indication of um, this uh, first round. Uh, if you noticed, there was just one speaker who used all um, his or her time allocated, which is two minutes. The uh, other speakers, um, the uh, least time used was one minute. And uh, uh, I think there's um, a, a, a sec- the second speaker stopped at 115. And the third speaker stopped just close to one and a half minutes. So um, it's a good idea. It's an invitation that uh, uh, you're most welcome to use all the time that has been allocated. We are now going into round two, where each of us will uh, share our speech on our respective topics. The flow of round two is as follows. Speaker one will begin and... Uh, she will have her 10 minutes in which she'll, uh, you know, uh, share her thoughts on the topic. Then speaker two who will also speak for. After that, we'll have five minutes of crossfire where speakers against can share their points of information or make their statements on any uh, data or any information that has been shared by speakers one and two. Thereafter, speaker three will uh, have his speech. Speaker four will then speak after that. And then we'll have another five minutes of crossfire where speakers can again raise points of information. Uh, I invite speaker number one to um, take the floor. Uh, Your 10 minutes are on. Please begin. So uh, today's topic is whether reality shows are in bank. But as a teacher for many years, I feel that and as a person who has lived half of my life, so I feel that banning is not a solution to anything. And I am actually a regular uh, viewer of reality shows because my life is almost every time it is with the children, almost surrounded by the children of uh, three to 17 year old. And I've seen many of them uh, participating in the reality shows. And I feel the reality show is actually the root. It started when, I think when we were small children, when the guests used to come to our school, I mean to our home, and uh, our parents used to call us and tell them, okay, sing a song, uh, show a dance, and uh, do something uh, which actually we are good at. So many times we used to show, many times we used to feel shy. That is actually the, I think, the beginning of the reality shows. And later, we used to do in the school. Now in the digital era, it has come to um, reality shows. So. I am actually for the reality shows because I've seen uh, many, because we are getting um, to see the children with multiple talents. Some actually children, they really surprise us. Actually, if reality shows would have not been there. These children would have gone, actually, they wouldn't have 
got that inspiration or motivation to come back. So reality is actually the uh, opportunities for the children to showcase their talent because our present education system, I think when the NDP comes, you see what they have been following in the NC uh, national curriculum framework till this year. The thing is, there is no chance for the children to showcase their other talents. Most of them are forced to uh, work on uh, actually either to become a doctor or engineer, go for the because I know many students, those are in child who got admission in NID because I give a lot of opportunities for the children to showcase their talent in the school. So the child got into NID and the parents didn't permit because the, they wanted their child to become a doctor. So here after the um, intervention or after the introduction of uh, reality shows, I've seen that the parents are actually thinking in a different way. The children are also actually discovering their talents. They are actually exploring their uh, creativity. And uh, the, this reality shows that I've seen that most of them, most of the reality shows are actually giving a good platform. And of course, this is helping their parents from the poor background. Some parents are actually uh, getting uh, their best or uh, maybe better lifestyles because of their children. So I feel reality shows anything, not only reality shows. If you feel uh, why we are telling only the reality shows are to be bad. I think the reason we have reality shows are to be bad. The uh, this, I think the doubt comes because many times the children are pressurized. Uh, people say that they lose their childhood. Uh, they actually, they are uh, into the uh, tough competitions. Uh, their uh, school life is uh, actually bad. So many things people say. But I think uh, there are many things uh, because of that the children lose their time to lose their time because, um, um, I mean, competitive exams, um, I mean, uh, the, our board exams, our school exams, our uh, entrance examinations. I think there are so many uh, things which actually children, even after each board exams, after each competitive exams, after each uh, entrance exam, many students even they actually, they, uh, commit suicide or they uh, go to depression. So what I feel is, but we are not banning it. We are not banning it. We are trying to modify it. In the same way, I think the reality shows whenever we, uh, instead of banning anything, whenever we ban, I feel that I've seen that it comes in some other, other whatever you ban. So what I feel is banning is not a solution. Uh, uh, I think modifying it, recreating it, uh, remodeling it, redesigning it will help actually in getting the good out of anything. So that is true with the uh, reality shows. Also. So reality shows uh, I've been watching and I've seen that many of the students uh, or many of the children, those who actually now I think they are uh, in uh, doing their life some are actually taking the professional life and their passion together. Some have made their passion to profession. Uh, many are into the live playback singing. Many are into the uh, creativity. I mean, many have become good painters. Many have become good actors. And uh, there are examples where, because of the reality shows, the children have had some bitter experiences also, but I feel that that is with the case with everything. That is with the case with every um, uh, every project, every system, there will be good and bad. So banning is not a this thing. Keeping in view of the benefits, keeping in view of the good points they are getting, uh, good opportunities they are getting, good actually motivation they are getting, uh, we can modify, recreate, and uh, bring some, uh, what is it called, uh, reforms in the field. And I think we can, uh, uh, we can uh, continue with the reality issues. Maybe the format can be changed, the timeline can be changed, the parents can be 
uh, motivated parents can be made aware that this is only a focusing the talent. Uh, winning or losing is not the problem. The child is getting an opportunity. So don't pressurize the child. Let the child do whatever the child feels happy. And uh, if the children are happy to do, children are happy to come to the stage, children are happy to showcase their talent. Why to stop them? I feel in this way, if we are going ahead, uh, I think uh, reality shows can continue and the children and get more opportunities. And I think we can have more reality shows based on, I think nowadays the format is based on only music, dance or anything. But the reality shows can be on the multiple talents. I think there are a few, uh, I think we can have more. And, we, and the schools and the universities can also have a uh, say on that, that how they can, without troubling the children, how they can take both together, their studies and the reality. So in this way, if we are going ahead, I think we don't have to go for banning or good, um, actually good uh, invention or maybe discovery or is it both invention and discovery because invention in the sense uh, due to the social media and uh, due to the new uh, platforms children are getting discovery in the sense the people have discovered how the children can be um, brought forward. So I feel the reality shows can be uh, can be continued and with the little reforms and maybe some, I, I think this kind of discussions are very good because this kind of discussion, this kind of debates, I think I thank Amrita University for doing it because this kind of discussion the debates will definitely will bring a good change or good change in the uh, uh, platforms what we are offering to the children and what are the uh, negativities and what are the problems issues children are facing can be actually solved and we can continue that uh, so thank you very much for giving me an opportunity and thank you sir. thank you ma'am thank you so much Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Um, uh, one more, uh, uh, one more thought that I'd like to um, add for the participants is in case during during somebody else's speech, if you would like to go off video in order to make notes, etc., you're most welcome. Yeah, but just remember if you are going off video or you are on mute, please ensure that when you come back to speak, make sure you turn on your video, unmute yourself, and then speak. I invite speaker number two now to uh, share her thoughts. Ms. Shubrita Singh, your 10 minutes are yours now. Please, be, please take over. Thank you, sir. Thank you to give me opportunity to speak now on this topic. I feel that uh, this topic, uh, real TV channel programs for competition is good because it gives a competition. If anyone or not we are talking about children, if anyone, it can be adult people or children, they get the chance to compete anyone, then only they motivate themselves for getting a best opportunities. Small kids are doing very best on that platform, which is given by the reality shows. They are giving them opportunity to show their talent. If anyone is not getting the chance, they are not going to refine themselves. In our school or everywhere, we see that if students are getting first position or second position, then only they are trying to get the good position. The students who are not getting the time to get to very good marks, so they are out of competition. If they are out of competition, then after that, they are not trying to do something best. So for always giving them motivation, we have to put them in the competition. Yes, I think some people are not uh, favoring this because they feel that always they are in the pressure. I agree by that point, always pressure is not good. But in the reality channel show, we are looking that sometimes they are getting very much good refreshment time. For recreation also, they are getting chance to move anywhere. They are getting chance to go and enjoy with different, different new 
locality, new culture, trends, one small type of villages kinds uh, competitor also get a chance to move in Mumbai or Hyderabad or any big place. So they can also learn something. They are not only in competitive mode, they are learning by that steps also. If we are not giving them competitions, they are not going to improve themselves. For motivating them, they are always thinking that study is only good for students. No, this is wrong. By giving them this type of chance, parents also trying to give very different, different mode of learning to their kids. Earlier students are only things that if they can give their good in their studies, they are only can achieve a good field or achievements. No, right now they are going for sports, they are going for art, they are going for different type of dance mode, singing modes and other talents. So parents are also trying to give their best. They are doing hard work with their children. They are also saying them, yes, you are good in drawing. So we are trying to give you a good platform of a good art teacher who can teach you more and more different articles, aspects of uh, drawing or coloring. If you are very good dancer, you are trying to learn the dance by watching TV or any videos. So we are trying to give you a good teacher for dance who can teach you all forms of dance and you can give the best. So this type of things are also motivating the children that only studies are not for them. Other tasks or other talent also improve a student or a children. So this type of reality shows are not bad because they are giving chance to all kinds of children. It may be lower cadre, it may be from very high-fi metro cities, it may be from any state, it can be Jammu Kashmir also or Kanyakumari also, or we can say that metro cities like Delhi, Mumbai and Kolkata. So these things are giving them options to make them groom. If they are not getting chance, they will what they learn. They learn only to read the books and uh, pass their examination. And only getting mark sheets is not the proof of knowledge. In mark sheet, if anyone is getting full marks in English, Hindi, mathematics and science, and they are not grooming themselves, their personalities are not developed. They are not, they are never be going to be success in their life. Because mark sheets are always shows marks. It can be question paper is easy. You can get good marks. If sometimes you have learned the all answers and that same question is coming the examination, you can get the good marks. But it not shows that you are all rounder. You are very good students. Sometimes the students are getting very good marks, but in examination, but in competitive examinations, they never success. That is the reason so talent show are grooming them. They are all aspects are refining by their teachers, by their gurus or any mentor. So they are polishing them. They, everyone knows some few, few points for all. We know how to play badminton, but we know the keen points of the badminton sports. We know how to play cricket, but we can't do that much experts we can't show which that Sachin Tendulkar or Ravi Shastri or Kumble has been done earlier. So right now by parents they are thinking no if studies is important so we can teach other also skills to our students to our children that they can do best in this field also. So this competitive reality shows have taught us that no, every field is important. You can do your best in any field which you want. If a good teacher is teaching you, you can improve yourself. You can motivate yourself. You can learn the key points of that particular task. Because if you are getting chance to improve, then only you can improve. If you are getting chance to learn, then only you can learn. Because Common thing is for all, but something is special is only given by a specialized mentor or teacher. If a student 
of any it can be for any cocolastic areas scholastic areas but a teacher can improve and can groom that particular individual children that they can be the best part of this field so it is very important this all life channels programs are teaching us or small kids also motivating if he or she can sometimes also i have seen that uh, physically disabled people have done a very good in music they got chance by their parents yes if you are not walk if you are not see or if you can't participate in any academic examination you can't prove yourself so don't worry we are with you you prove and you can go for that uh, i am not giving that particular channels name but many channels are there those who are giving them platform and they are doing the best even they are feeling happy that on this platform the normal people are not coming but that disabled people are coming and showing their performance and all entire india and outside of the people are watching and listening them so this is the chance they are getting and they feel this we can do something this a single sentence can motivate them that they are also more and more energetic in which field they are it is not the matter they are not energetic in running or they are not energetic or active in by physically doing something but they can sing they can drawing they can do any that field they, they are doing their best and they are showing and everyone watching or listening them without taking breath he yes he how much he is passionate about his this task so this is a very good chance to give them and it is motivating to all other disabled people small kids those who are not too much rich they can also reach at that platform this is not a for a particular or we are we can't say that this is only for that that type of people no it is for everyone this line also motivating us if we can think that uh, some task is only for them so we are not trying to get that part but here in uh, real tv shows these are showing us yes it is for everyone from small villages of rajasthan of uh, tamil nadu kerala the kids small 5 years 4 years kids are coming and participating in this so we are thinking yes we can also do our children also can do for that if we are not seeing that we never know i think these are giving us motivation also and giving us some good thoughts also to learn how much we can so it need a force or it need a pressure to be in competition so be in competition is not a wrong wrong thing from my views when we are in competition only we are trying to do our best if we are not in competition then always everyone says i am the best so we are not always the best we have to prove that we are best so we have to do something that is also an important part for a uh, real tv shows that make us always in competition sir your sound is not coming yes sir i now i now invite all participants to come back on video 5 minutes of crossfire is now uh, in force uh participants uh, may raise their questions or point of interest along with uh, supportive data no i uh, i completely uh, you know thanks to both both uh, learned uh, council analysts for making the points on reality shows uh, everybody is comparing schools and reality shows i i don't know if that is the first argument that you can ever make that school platforms and reality shows are the same um school platforms are within a controlled environment where you know the sensitization of uh, a kid what the kid is capable of and you're able to explore within the boundaries even if the kid makes a mistake are you comfortable with the fact uh, that in reality shows if a kid makes a mistake and an elimination is possible 
are you comfortable with the fact that a child can be eliminated on the grounds of not being as good as the other person? Are you first comfortable with something like that? Any one of y'all can choose. Uh, I leave it to y'all. Dr. Shauri, you're on mute most often, please. I feel that you're on mute. Miss Miss Subrita, please go ahead. I, I yes, sir. I want to say we are comparing only students because the, we are to, the topic with the real shows with the children. So, in chil uh, if we are talking about the children, they are in a school also and they are in reality shows also. So, we are comparing them. And uh, for elimination, we, if we are coming in the race, so elimination is there. If we are doing something, so elimination is there. If we are giving interviews also, if we are uh, calling all the 100 participants, we are never give the chances to all the participants to hold that position. We are eliminating day by day or round by round and after choosing only one. So elimination is for everyone. It is not only for the reality shows. It is for common for all. Because everyone is participating and everyone can't be the best and be the topper of that. So elimination give them chance to move more and more improvement in their task, what they are doing. So if elimination is not, then why I will or anyone is going to improve themselves? Because I'm also getting the same chance for an entire four months, five months, the program or any education line or anything, whatever. So is getting. So why should I do hard work? Because I'm not going to be eliminated. Nothing is going to be uh, any demerits for that if I'm not doing the good. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Points That's made substantially. Good. I want to add one point, Success sir. and failure. Success and failure is a part of life. Right? I was saying success and failure is a part of life. Whether you are a kid or in a job or going for a job interview or playing cricket, either you win or lose. But your elimination or your failure should not affect your mental stability, your emotional stability. You know, it, you should take it very sportingly. And you should learn from your mistakes, you should learn from your failure. And failure doesn't mean you will fail every time. Failure means there is a need for improvement where you find the scope of improvement and then you improve from there on. And then you succeed. So there is no... He has never failed. Everybody has failed and everybody has achieved some success in their life, whether as a kid or as a sports person or as a politician, or as an administrative officer, any, everybody. So you should not take failure. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Vishay. Point yeah. substantially made. Thank you. Point substantially made. Uh, Ms. Geeta, you are responding to that? Yes, sir. Please go ahead. Sir, uh, I feel that, uh, as uh, Adam said, elimination is actually face everyone because when you conduct an examination, children are eliminated because of this. I think only the problem with the elimination in the reality shows comes it is actually coming with a platform everybody is seeing it. But while I have seen it as a person who has been watching the reality show for a long time, I've seen that earlier there used to be a lot of crying, a lot of uh, drama when they used to be eliminated. Now I have seen that this generation, they take their everything sportingly. I am not seeing the crying. They are eliminated. They are trying for the another reality show. So I think the children are actually getting used to it. And now this generation which is here, the much more. And uh, elimination is there as ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Point made. We have to. Point. Thank you, ma'am. Point made. Uh, anyone else? I'm just going to add one simple thing. In a school, you're in a constructive environment. And in reality shows, you're not in a constructive environment. A detrimental statement can be made in an open without the confines of ethics or morality. And the kid has the possibility of receiving such detrimental comment, whether he or she even know, even deserved it or not deserved it, it is going to come from a non-constructive environment. And that is my qualm. Uh, nothing else. Yeah, but in schools, we are bound by morals, ethics, and con uh, you know, uh, constructive criticism environment. So, that's that's my qualm. Yeah. Thank you. 
thank you so much um, we uh, move out of the crossfire uh, i now invite speaker number 3 to take the floor rest of us same norms uh, in case you wish to make notes etc you can go off video and you can stay on mute rest of us can go off video and can be on mute in case you wish to take notes uh, speaker number 3 your 10 minutes start now good morning everyone and uh, i'm speaking against the topic that is kids reality shows should not be banned so there is a saying i will start with a saying which everybody i'm sure everybody must have heard this that uh, if you do something you love you know you will always excel in whatever you are doing and you love that work and you will not feel burdened by your work but you will enjoy your work and there on you will be at your best so you'll find uh, many are uh, there n number of schools in india and across the world but every school doesn't have all the facilities which can be given or provided to children because of many factors available uh, in the schools but at the same time there are many students who are studying in n number of schools who have certain talents which school may not provide because of their you know certain boundaries that they have a certain limits that they have so reality shows it gives you an opportunity to showcase your talent in an open world and that too you are getting a recognition across the world you are getting followers across the world by your talent if you are good in singing if you are good in dancing if you are good in music if you are good in sports beat anything if you are good in art good in designing good in good in drawing you can showcase your talent by just participating in in these type of reality shows and you can be a star in the world now we we were uh, we were discussing about it 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 uh, it harms the the students in a certain way emotionally that they emotionally break down i don't think so when when you as a teacher when you as a parent and guardian are with your children so you you certainly fail at in in your in your uh, in your schools or you do not do well sometimes in examinations what do we do we we help our kids to overcome that challenge to overcome that emotion and after you know certain hours a certain few hours a certain uh, few uh, days they learn from the mistakes and they overcome their mistakes and they do well so it 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 helps you in in building your talents and when you participate participate in in any uh, reality shows you come out of the boundary of your society you come out of the boundary of your school and you get to know the world you get to know you socialize with different type of students different type of people across the world across the in across the cities in india and then your mindset also changes your thinking also changes you develop it breaks the fear that as a kid that you have that you will not be able to face the world you will not be able to face the stage it breaks that barrier and then you are ready once you are on the stage and that ice has broken you can face the world you can face any challenge it helps the students who are participating in in these type of reality shows in building the personalities also it gives it helps them in building their outgoing personalities it helps them to be an extrovert to face the challenges to face the world it brings out the hidden talent in the students because we have seen in our schools and in our homes also as a parent also as a teacher also we do not know that our children is good in singing 
and dancing or any extracurricular curricular activities. But once you give, and give them an opportunity, not only you know, but the child also uh, discovers that, okay, I'm good in singing. I'm very good in singing. I'm very good in dancing. So they realize that they're good in singing and, and they can build their career from there on. So as we see, that also helps in, in, in choosing non-conventional job opportunities also. There, these are non-conventional job opportunities where you can be self-employed. There, there are conventional jobs available in the market. You can do, you can, you can be a, you can be a employee in any companies. You can be an employee in any government companies. But these are opportunities where you can be, where you can get self-employed, and you can good, and you can make good money out of it. You can, you can, you can support your family. You can be known in uh, known person in the society. So this this also creates a job opportunity in a society. It, it also uh, yeah reality shows it, it is also a very good motivating source for everybody when you when we see people when you, when we see kids participating in reality shows in the televisions our children also see it that okay, if they can do it, we can also do it. I have the talent, I will try it. Let's see what happens. It doesn't matter whether you fail or you pass or you succeed or whether you're chosen. So it, it develops the sporting spirit in children also. It doesn't matter whether you, whether you are chosen uh, for the reality show or not, but you have that guts to say that, okay, I'll also participate, let's see what happens. If they succeed, well and good. If they do not, not a problem. You will overcome that failure just in a few days and you will develop your talent. It is harmless fun also. There's no harm in participating in reality shows. It is actually fun because you love that thing. You love singing, you love dancing, you love your art. And that is why it is harmless fun. It provides a valuable lesson, which we as teachers or we as students or we as parents do not find it in the books. It, it gives you life lessons. It, may, it, it gives you a lot of friends from, from your society that you make apart from your school friends. So competition should always be healthy. It should not be taken as an, unhel an unhealthy thing. Comp competition should always be healthy. And as parents and teachers, we are always there to support our children, emotionally, physically, mentally, and by everything. See, with cooperation and collab collaboration in any type of competition, it, it, it only helps the students to develop their skills and their talents. So, co so competition is a, I would always say that competition is a healthy thing. It is not an unhealthy thing when, when competition word is used because with cooperation, everybody develops. It prepares you for life. All life's challenging situation. When you know when as a kid, as a school children, you have already faced a competition. And when you get into your uh, college life or after college, you know what competition is like. So there will not be a pressure on their mind that, okay, I have to face the competition. I have to sit for a UPSC examination or I have to face any, any sort of examination. I have to face the IIT exam. You have already done that in that school. So it, it is not going to be a mental pressure. You'll, you'll, you'll take it as a fun. And we have already seen that many celebrities in India and across the world are coming out of this reality shows which were hidden 20 years back, 30 years back. 
in our time there were many talents available but there were no reality shows and now we have an opportunity where a lot of celebrities are coming out of this reality shows you can arijit singh is a very good example as a singer he has come out of the reality show and is one of the best probably the best singer in india at present <clears throat> last and 30 years, seconds um... years have also shifted we, we used to have daily soaps in uh, in in our televisions which now the viewers have shifted from this daily soaps to reality shows so i would always say that uh, you know reality shows is always a boon for children but not a bane thank you so much thank you thank you so much um i now invite um, speaker number 4 mr kandasamy your 10 minutes um, start now all the best please go ahead thank you so it, it looks like i'll be the only one arguing in justification of a ban so i'm going to come hard with stats uh, there are about 247 reality shows in india right all that we do in life has started off by saying if i turn on my air conditioner for a short while it's okay and we bend it up in global warming small patterns and changes where we are an excessive excessive race we've never done anything by quantified good standards we've always wanted more of it it's the philosophy of life we just wanted more oil we wanted more of everything we wanted everything sooner okay kids can be kids kids don't have to be adults just because kids can sing and dance and perform very well right now doesn't mean they have to make a living off it right now what are you there as parents for what are schools there for right uh if schools are in a position to ensure that the kids talent is harnessed it's propagated well they for reality shows at all it's because we as schools are failing to harness that you know motivation of the kid kids are looking out to external platforms to really go out there and put it out there and justify that hey world look at me i am so good at this you know look at me i'm so good at this we are failing as a system to really harness it in the school and help them understand when your time comes go out there now it is not about competition it is not it is not i mean the kid is not even in a stage in their life where they have to go and you know uh, uh, make glory for themselves it's most parents who are putting them out there saying hey listen uh if you showcase this maybe you would be able to there is a justification saying that uh, i won't be able to provide that platform for the kid and if the kid makes it big over there and that is good maybe he or she would make it by himself or herself but you're pushing them too early before they understand the maturity of life right and just before i made a simple argument saying constructive criticism is welcome moderation is welcome in an open world just go down on the youtube links and see the comments for a start oh she is ugly she should not be getting my vote there is so many such comments from people who do not understand the value of criticism right now the biggest the most popular show in reality is big boss now there is a difference between reality and curated content when there are 247 shows and you people are talking about competition the shows are competing with each other to get the attention of the audience they are competing too my wife was a tv anchor her trp was 4.7 my father in law acted in 150 movies competition people have to do the most absurd thing which is unnormal to get your attention the shows are competing with each other with the kids doing you know just sometimes abnormal things sometimes very talented things but they are competing with each other to get your attention my attention in that case i am motivating another kid to think hey that is reality it is not reality it is curated content very significantly curated content and we have to understand reality and curated content are very different we cannot think that every time somebody goes out there so I, I even have a solution for something like that, and I'm going to come about that. Now, I am not against reality shows. I'm against kids' reality shows, and the very uh, you know governing regulations of it, and where there are no limitations to how much of exploitation there can happen for a kid. 
Now, re reality shows can be broken into many different things. You have social media channels. They are not reality shows. Those are platforms where you are showcasing your reality without any motivation or support from anybody else, but you're just showcasing it. One of such shows I can talk about right now, uh, if you have young, young kids like I do, who are five and a half and three and a half, my kids watch an, you know, an American Russian show of two kids or three brothers playing around Claude, Vlad and Nikki. Now, uh, of course, uh, Abhishek Ji will understand Vlad and Nikki is one of the most popular YouTube, uh, uh, you know, thing. And what, what they promote on that is uh, Hot Wheels, right? They promote uh, uh, Fruit Loops. They promote uh, KFC. I'm sorry, I'm naming brands, but my kids are saying, I like that. They're saying, I like that. I want it. I'm not stopping them from enjoying it and realizing later that maybe it is not good enough if it is moderated well. But that is what the capitalistic world we live in. And you, you are an MBA graduate as well, so you'll understand commerce and finance. We have to use an audience to promote as much as we can, right? Uh, even advertisement rules and laws, they, they are absurd. I mean, they, they, they refined, but then they're still not in acceptance with what kids can do and shouldn't do. So I'll give you one more. I'm the host of a show called The Global Child Prodigy where 100 kids of talent from across the world are chosen and interviewed on a week-on-week -week basis, uh, one child a week, and we felicitate the kid for that talent. Some of them come from reality shows. You know, I've interviewed uh, American Idol, Iman, a uh, young kid, just about six or seven. You know, parents curate all the content. Another kid who's a DJ, the parents said, you can't ask him questions like that. You shouldn't be asking. Some parents are aware of what the kids need, uh, what the kids can answer. Some, some parents are not. Uh, a young painter kid who's become very popular on NDTV. You know, I've interviewed that kid. I've had the opportunity to interact with a lot of kids. Some of them have phenomenal poise and clarity, uh, but that needs to come from parents. It needs to come from so many other, you know, mechanisms of support so that kids' talent is harnessed and portrayed very well. But blind reality shows, which are just competing for audience, are just not right because, unfortunately, in an open free world like we do, uh, there are a lot of moving points. And when you leave it to such moving points, excessism can become a norm. And what we do as adults in reality where we take calls for ourselves uh, is not what kids can do for themselves. They have to be nurtured. And at some point if certain unnecessary, you know, derogatory influences are made that can also bring you down very, 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 very rapidly. So my, my stand is, you know, just better the school system make sure that the kids, you know, ability to sort of tap into that talent is harnessed at the school, develop a mentorship system that says, hey, I'm going to connect you as, you know, somebody who's given this with a mentor, try to enlighten the parents that don't, don't compare this with competitive exams. Competitive exams, uh, you know, are by a distant mile should not be compared with this. Uh, not at all. Uh, this one is a free market system. Competitive exam is not a free market system at all. It, it is very government regulated. Uh, not that I support it at all. I'm completely against competitive exams. But nevertheless, uh, on this stand, I, I say that these two should not be compared under any, 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 any means. And, um, you know, the reality shows for kids, in all a sense, if it is not heavily regulated by which sometimes, you know, your audience factor could be lost and, and in the essence, your reality show itself can be killed uh, because knowing how advertisement works and TRP ratings work, uh, reality shows need to be banned at this point for kids. And we should be letting them participate only after a certain age, but we should be harnessing the talent nevertheless in creating an ecosystem from the school stages and connecting them with mentors of certain sorts where they can take it you know, at a calculated pace and not be looking at making the bread and butter when they're so young. And again, the argument by most panelists saying children who do not have the means can make it big on reality shows. I appreciate that because you're trying to give them uh, an El Nino, a shot at glory, a shot at fame, a shot at money. But that does not justify that the whole larger system, even competitive exams, uh, you know, I think uh, they, they completely skewed uh, where for 10, 10 seats you have a uh, one like kids writing examinations and paying so much money. Uh, you know, reality shows, you shouldn't be doing that. So this is, in my sense, saying, do not bring adult life into young life right now. I have something to show you all. Can I, do I have my permission to share my screen? Yes, I do, sorry. 
So I asked for a simple vote on Instagram. And I asked them, "Would do you think kids' reality shows should be banned? Yes, 51%. No, 49%. And this came from 175 voters on my Instagram over 24 hours on my story. The world is divided. And that's why we should be having this debate. And uh, thanks to Amrita Oval for doing that. I could not be perfectly right. I could not be perfectly wrong. But uh, my points, I hope, will be considered and kids' reality shows would be looked at more constructively than it is right now. All right. Uh, I will hand over the floor back to you all and I'll stop Thank sharing. You. There you go. Thank you. I was just going to say 30 seconds left. Yeah. Thank you so much. I saved you the uh, trouble. Thank you. Uh, I invite all uh, panelists to come back on video. And uh, the five minutes of crossfire is now on. Uh, uh, your your uh, points of interest or your queries, along with your supportive arguments, are most welcome. Please go ahead. Whatever we have discussed, we missed out one point. That uh, through reality shows, it's also give, you know, it uh, it gives an opportunity to those children who are who do not have such opportunities or who, do, who are not studying in you know big private schools and very fancy schools, but they are studying in you know a less privileged school. It gives it also gives them the opportunity to to participate in these kind of events and showcase the talent. We missed out on this point, so I'm making this point uh, uh, right now. So, you know, the, it gives an opportunity to less progress students also. Uh, Mr. Patrick, you're yes. um, making the point for the motion. Yeah, yeah. Your, your, um, against, against your stand. Motion. Against the motion. Okay. I'm saying it gives them, it gives the less privileged children, it gives them the opportunity to, to participate in these kind of reality shows who do not have such kind of... You're on, you're on mute. You're on, yes, please go on. Uh, uh, please go on. You were on mute. We, we missed your last sentence. I said, I, I was saying that it, it gives the less privileged who are the children who are not so privileged, gives them those opportunities also who, who do not have such opportunities and who do not have such privileges in their schools and who are less privileged socially and financially, it gives them the opportunity to showcase the talent also, apart from students studying in fancy schools. Uh, Mr. Patrick, that's, that's for the motion. Your your points of interest need to be against the motion, uh, Mr. Mr. Kandasamy. I see you. Uh, I see you'd like yeah. to come and go ahead, please. Yes. So so the first thing is uh, talent scouting is not an easy business, right? And they don't get scouted uh, just because you know they have talent alone. There is a lot of coercion that happens in scouting. Uh, and another thing is uh, you know private schools or government schools. Uh, the first exposure to where the talent is is through social media. And that's where the talent scouting happens. And that is an unregulated medium. And that is where it happens. So if you have to be picked up, you will be picked up from social media channels, which is commonly available as a democratic platform to private school children and to government school children, all children alike. But maybe the literacy of uh, you know social media platforms would vary based on if they're from a private medium or a government medium. But also, some of the uh, panelists did make a point earlier on saying sports, right? Sports comes as part of a very developed ecosystem in our country where there is competitions, which is not reality shows based, which is, again, in the form of constructive development, which happens within the ambit of the Ministry of Sports, Ministry of this, Ministry of every other thing. And even a government school child would be out there. So they are not reality shows. Reality shows are the shows that are curated on television right now. And we should not be comparing sports over there because uh, you would see uh, an anomaly, uh, a, you know, physically challenged person making it to Olympics. They're not from reality shows. Their fame may be from something else, but they are from a competitive system, which is by schools and for the educational system.
Dr. Shari, you're on mute. Thank you. Ms. Geeta, please go ahead. So I think the uh, reality shows what I could understand from the speakers that actually the problem is not with the reality shows. The problem is with actually they are regulated, they are this. But there are some reality shows, they are even the uh, psychologists, counselors, they are giving opportunities. Miss Geeta, the first part, first part of your thing was not audible. Could you please repeat? So what I feel is uh, sports, uh, competitive examinations, um, entrance examinations, and everywhere you check, even the sports area, when you take it, that is regulated by government, but I have so many examples where the children are pressurized by the coaches. But the, even the uh, countries actually pressurize their children. So actually we have so many examples in our place where the children are actually pressurized by the country government itself. So the thing is not, the problem is not with the reality issues. Problem is not with the thing. And problem is not with the the platforms. Problem is actually we are not, these people are not coming under some regulatory. Is there, I think I've seen some uh, regulations on the TV screen that we are doing the reality show in this way. So, I mean, they are following all the norms. I think the government is but it should come under the as both. Uh, competitive exam, it also should come under uh, the regulations and, and it will be obvious. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we will now move into the... Uh, Ms. Shivrata, were you going to add something? Yes, sir. I want to say that Kevin, sir, sir, has only opposed this topic. So I want to say that, sir, it is true that it is not a competition between students. This is a competition between 247 competitive shows. So if uh, this is, we can say, yes, this is true. They are competition between that show. But here the participants are not knowing that we are competing with that show. They know that we are competing with these participants which are in front of us. So they are proving themselves with that competition. They are they that special kids are not competing with shows. That kids are competing with their participants. They are trying to improve themselves for getting that good first position or second position or anywhere. So they are improving. It is a very good point or best point that that particular or individual kid is improving himself or herself. To be in the competition, they are trying to give their best. They don't know what the which channels are trying to competing, whose TRP is very best or who is giving them a lot of amount. No, they are not going to think that part. They are thinking, how can I give my best part? So you, improving individual thing is important. Point adequately uh, substantiated. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Mr. Kandaswamy, very quickly, yeah. uh, 30 seconds. So it's very simple. Uh, you are attracted by the platform and not by the talent flow. So the platform is the reality show. And when these reality shows need to attract audience, they curate it in so many different ways to make it very likable or very edgy, right? And for an audience, my child, who's going to be watching that show would think that is reality. That's not reality. And that is my qualm, right? So they have to make the platform very edgy for them to like it. So the kids on that side, but you're portraying still the alternate reality, which is not the truth. So these are not reality shows. Tag them as something else. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Ma'am, you, you, you'll, you'll have your opportunity. You'll have your opportunity to respond as we move into phase three. In this phase, uh, it is, it is, this phase, next phase is manufactured for each speaker sort of uh, take in points from what you have heard so far and share any residues or any balanced thoughts that you might have with the audience. You have three minutes each in this round. We'll be following the same pattern. First two speakers, 
three minutes each, and then there'll be a two minutes of crossfire again, and then second two speakers, three minutes each, after which we will close. I invite speaker one to please uh, unmute yourself, and you have three minutes to share your residue points. climb on the trees to attend the online classes. Like, like that children, they will not get any platform in their school. So these platforms are to be there, but under some rules and regulations. That is what I think. And I think that all these things are actually coming with the um, new, new uh, discoveries. So we will have to go ahead with that, but we will have to see to it that at the end, the children's interest are safe. They are not pressurized. They are not actually uh, uh, victim of any competition. But at the same time, they must be given where they can showcase their talents. Thank you, so ma'am. Thank you so much. I invite speaker to now uh, share your thoughts. Your three minutes. Here I want to quote one uh, theory of insight theory that uh, in insight theory one chimpanzee was there in a cage and he is not getting anything to eat and then he feel uh, hungry that he, he tried to search the food but in cage after a long time he got that a very big bunch of banana is hanging at the top of the cage. After searching, after trying a lot of time, he uh, put a small box in that uh, cage. He bring that box downward of the banana and standing on that, he got that banana and it and it. So this is the thing, ki when we require something, then only we are trying to do. If we are not getting chance, we are not trying to do anything. So this competition is only giving us chance for learning more and more. So it should not be banned. It, if it is a healthy competition, we have to prepare ourselves for more and more struggle. Because this life is not a piece of cake. After every step, we have to learn something for getting good opportunity. It is, if you are getting admission in a good school, first you have to go for entrance examination. If you are trying to do a very good engineering, medical, many coachings, you have to join and you have to prove yourself. So means you have to, that is finally you have to be a part of competition. So this is a learning platform. You have to learn something. You have to prove yourself. After that only you will achieve anything good. If you are not trying, you are stable at one place only and the other participants are moved forward. And you are waiting there, yes, I will get some time. So in this era, this is not easy for everyone. You have to do your best, only then you can get the best. After doing a lot, you are getting a very small thing. So if you are not doing a lot, then we are not going to get anything. 
so for this we have to do hard work it may be competitive for real shows it may be for examination it may be for any entrance or engineering medical But for a single seat see how many students are filling that that competitive examination form and how many are going to be get engineer in one year but there are if many lakhs are i think cancer knows in colleges also many students are trying then only few are getting their favorite subject this is also a competition and when we are starting from the nursery age then only we can get a good we can prepare ourselves for the good part so this is the competition always to boost up ourselves we don't have to take this is a negative way we have to take it in positive way then only we can not 100% success but we can succeed thank so you ma'am we have to think positive thank you ma'am thank you so much thank you sir for some reason the video is not coming on okay um any um any cross fire from uh, anyone on the uh, concluding thoughts from uh, the for the motion okay if there is no cross fire uh, speaker number 3 your 3 minutes please go ahead yeah uh, see when the reality show started in india a uh, long time back the judges uh, used to be very harsh on students and kids but over the over a period of time they have uh, you know a lot of things have changed they have moderated they have regulated and they are very polite with the kids if they are there in the show it means that they are talented they may not be better than the other one but they are talented and that is why they are there so this harshness from the judges that you're not good or you're not as good as the other one this this has gone they even if they are they are being eliminated uh they are very politely said and very politely being eliminated they say that you are good but they are not you have need to improve a lot so reality shows it it certainly gives an opportunity to students and kids to showcase it, whether they 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 succeed they, they they win the show or not but it has given them the platform to showcase the talent where it irrespective of whether they qualify a certain level or not so real reality shows is 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 certainly it, it's helpful for kids thank you thank you yeah. so much mr abhishek um uh, i invite speaker number 4 uh, yes <laughs> right you are the only one against the motion uh, please go ahead your 3 minutes yeah <laughs> um yes um it's very simple um my stand has always been anything good has to be retained but it has to be in the right doses right but unfortunately with my stand being the only one against uh the debate so i have to justify and play devil's advocate and say why i am the no man first we're asking kids to be excessively quick we're asking them to live up to standards very 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 quickly we are not asking them to make the money right now we're not asking them to do all of this i don't think reality shows should be about winning money winning this maybe it is about showcasing talent well and good do it right but it needs to be heavily regulated to a certain point where even behind the scenes is also shown on television or youtube so that we understand that it is reality and it is not curated point 1 point 2 uh this is a free market economy right if there is content that is needed because we live in a content driven world all of what you're doing right now is content somebody needs to watch it somebody needs to understand from it to develop content we go to any ends to be different from the other uh everybody's talking about competition for me my form is not with the competition it is about how these platforms are more self centric and it's not about the kids it's about them that's why they're doing it they have to be able to advertise they have to be able to promote they have to be able to make the money if not they wouldn't do it and that's what is necessary for them to run the show so having said that you know i go back to the fundamental point of saying reality shows take the good bits but do so in a very very curated way where you tell them what is reality and what is not 
And for that, we as schools, we as educational systems need to start letting people feel that whatever we are doing in schools for them, the competitive environment we're providing within constructive ecosystems is good enough for them to explore that talent. And we should be able to develop our ecosystem so well that parents understand that a living can be made out of things that make kids happy. And if we can reach that evolved state after 75 years of independence, we have not reached that state. We are still worried about, you know, math scores and science scores alone. I have kids who, I have a kid who is uh, in the racing circuit. And he was in France last month, winning his championships by India, not reality show. Right? I have a kid who finished uh, her Bharatanatyam, went to Sri Lanka and became a star at 21 but she was harnessed very well at school. Now she's a star in Sri Lanka. I shouldn't be telling her name, but she's a star, right? Talent can be explored at later stages too, but they need to be harnessed very well at schools. If we do that job good enough at schools, maybe reality shows which are like exploiting the talent for content will minimize. We have to bring in a lot of factors to take care of this. It is not just blindly saying yes or against. It should be really curated so much more to help understand that reality shows should not be an exploitation platform for more TRP ratings. It should not be an exploitation platform of kids, but it is something that is reality and it's a sense which is raw showcase of talent. If we can reach that point, keep the reality shows. If not, let social media take over and be a free market platform that showcases kids' talents. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Kandasamy. Thank you so much. Uh, any any points of interest um, that anyone would like to raise on uh, the two speakers who spoke against? Um, okay. Um, with that, we come to um, the conclusion of today's debate. For some reason, my my video is not. Um, may I request the um, you know the controllers to see why my video is not coming on? Uh, Dushyant, uh, Parvati, uh, uh, why is this? Uh... Okay, while yes, sir, while yes, uh, we are. Uh, while... I think okay, now we while... can switch on. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yes. Um, uh, thank you so much. Uh, the, uh, we, we aimed to close in 90 minutes, I believe. Uh, we are right there. We've uh, we've heard thoughts for and against. And we've uh, uh, seen how a, a, a particular thought or a particular idea needs to be articulated. There was a lot of data. There was a lot of um, supporting arguments, a lot of information shared. I thank all our participants for um, being part of the Amrita Oval today. As I had indicated before, Amrita Oval is... Um, is a sort of a, 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 a platform where we hope that we can bring out different methods of education. We can also try to um, show to the learners who are joining us online or who will probably be watching this later that you know the, they can see the power of deploying rational seasoned arguments and they can see how you know, uh, how important research and how important it is to um, arrange your thoughts so that it can be articulated. Um, I thank you all once again. Um, thank you so much. Please have a good day. Thank you. <laughs>